<laughs> why we're here, Pastor Juan Rivera. Now, I you know want to conclude uh, our time together. Yeah. Uh, if you could just uh, give two or three reflections on uh, Corny McKnight. Yeah. I knew Corny for five years, the last five years of, of his yeah. life. And um, toward the end of his life, when he had discovered that he had had cancer, he was yeah. going through the... Uh, uh, the chemotherapy, the radiation, and all of that. He uh, had a meeting with several men and uh, imparted it to them. And, and uh, the way he explained it, it was different seasons in his life yeah. where men were critical. And I was blessed to be a part of that. Yeah. Uh, and Pastor David Thomas as well, yeah. uh, where he imparted it. To, and, and it just, the, the one thing that uh, I drew from that is, you know, a person who has evaluated his mm -hmm. time here to pour out into other men yeah. the things that he thought were important yeah. has has left me to not waste a minute of any day. Right, right. You know, to, right. to, to value yeah. every moment that God gives me. And I know that you kn knew him longer than I did. Is there a yeah. reflection or something that you could share? Yeah, the, boy, there's a number of things. Um, I think with Corny, um, like Jesus, he knew the significance of stopping. Um, we get so busy in our lives that we we um, we, we have like these uh, um, these blinders on that we don't see people. Um, Jesus had three years to accomplish everything the Father sent him to do, yet he would stop for people. He would stop for a person. Um, he needed to raise up disciples. He needed to, to to spread the message, but he would stop for a person. And Corny had that ability to stop for one person. And um, and not necessarily change the world, but change that person's world. Um, so he had that unique ability to stop. Um, secondly, he had that ability um, to where, you know, I thought, you know, when Corn is the kind of person that the way that he treated you, you thought that y you were his favorite. Absolutely. And when you saw him, uh, then when you saw other people that he loved on, and it wasn't and it wasn't like a um, superficial thing. But it was that thing like, man, I'm, I'm his favorite, you know? And then you see him, how he would treat others. And you would think, well, this is just who he is, you know? And he, it wasn't fake. It wasn't just a show. It wasn't uh, just something to do to, to, to please people. But it would just generally came from his heart. He loved people. And then lastly, uh, you know, Corny attended here before he was a member at Victory. And um, the impact that he left here was so amazing. I didn't realize the impact he had left until New Life Church celebrated its 25th anniversary last year. And as we were interviewing people to talk about what New Life has meant, we were celebrating the previous 25 years. My wife and I have only been here just almost three years, and so we're celebrating the previous 25 years. We made this video, this 10 minute video of New Life. I'll tell you what, it, the video, you had, you had people talking more about Corny McKnight than anyone else. And he was no longer even a member here anymore. But the impact that he made, yes, um, and I had the opportunity before Corny passed to take that video uh, to him and Dolly at their home, and he watched that video. I, I wanted them to see the impact and the legacy that he left even in this church and how people, when they thought about the history of New Life, yes. majority of them pointed back to a man that would, um, that would just uh, welcome them and just yes. bless them. It's so funny because I talked to the pastors that uh, used to be on staff uh, many years ago, and they would say that uh, they would go to the hospital to visit someone only to find out that Corny and Dolly had already been there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pastors, I mean, yeah, I mean, Corny and Dolly, oh, you just missed Corny and Dolly. He was always there loving on people and um, just an amazing man. That's absolutely right. Yeah. And I, I'm hoping that, you know, the lyrics that we've put together yeah. really chronicled so that we can be inspired to go and do the same. Yeah. Right? To take that moment to stop. Yeah. You know, we were blessed to uh, just have dinner with Dolly yeah. and to let her hear the song for the That's first great. time. And she gave it her blessing, so I feel like I can breathe. There it is. That's <laughs> it. That's it. A little bit. That's it. So I really want to appreciate, I, you know, just, just love on you and appreciate you, man, for yeah. your participation. Tonight. Could you share with us now? I don't know Spanish. Yeah. Share with us what you said. In oh wow! <laughs> Which one? I, I I don't I don't remember too much of it, but uh, just um, what do we say all the time, Jerry? Un momento. Un momento. One moment. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, just pretty much shared I, uh, in that one part. Um, just that uh, you know, all we have in life is just one chance to make a difference, and that uh, um, you know, if we give God that one chance, He can make that difference in our lives, and then we can in turn. Uh, impact our world and uh, so in a nutshell that's pretty much uh, 
uh, what was said in that. And that was on the fly. Part. Yeah, right. pretty much. The, the great thing is you came, you know, you got the call, you came and nailed it. Yeah. And that was it. What was it? maybe an hour, yeah. hour and 15 minutes, boom, and it was done. Yeah, so. well, you know, vocal helped out a little bit, you know. <laughs> this is yours, by the way. <laughs> wow, thank you. This was some good stuff yeah, right absolutely. here. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jerry B., SoundDoctrine.com, Pastor Juan Rivera, New Life Church. And uh, we are just chronicling inspiring. You have a great day.